Bill Murray is one of Hollywood's most iconic comedic stars, but he also has a reputation of being very difficult to work with. To put it into perspective, even Harvey Weinstein said, I used to feel guilty about behaving badly, then I met Bill and it feels so much better. In fact, just this year, he got a whole film production shut down and was forced to pay $100,000 to settle an allegation that he had been inappropriate with a young female assistant. As a result of his behavior, there's been a handful of stars that have made it clear that they wouldn't want to be on set with him again. So let's get into it. I'm your host Bridget Shields and here are the top 10 celebrities who refuse to work with Bill Murray. Number 10, Gina Davis. The actress revealed to the Times recently that while they worked together on their 1990 crime comedy Quick Change, Bill Murray created an uncomfortable atmosphere for her on set. According to Davis, he screamed at her in front of at least 300 people because she was late, even though she was delayed by the wardrobe department. She said that he also insisted on using a massage device on her and that he knows very very well the way that he can behave. Quote, I said no multiple times, but he wouldn't relent. I would have to yell at him and cause a scene if I was to get him to give up trying to force me to do it. The other men in the room did nothing to make it stop. I realized with profound sadness that I didn't yet have the ability to withstand this onslaught or to simply walk out. She said that she only saw him for publicity after they made the movie, but other than that, she hasn't seen or spoken to him. Davis said, I figure it's sort of rather universally known that he could be difficult to work with. Number nine, Lucy Liu. Last year, the actress accused Bill Murray of verbally attacking her during the making of Charlie's Angels in 2000. Speaking on the Asian Enough podcast, Lou remembered a time that she and her co-stars had to redo a particular scene in the movie while Murray was absent. When he returned to shoot the scene, Lou said that Murray started to hurl insults at her. She said, it kept going on and on and I was like, wow, he seems like he's really looking straight at me. I couldn't believe that that could be towards me because what do I have to do with anything majorly important at that time? Murray Murray reportedly insulted her career credentials, saying she was lucky to be there in the big leagues with him because she couldn't act. Lou said that it was inexcusable and unacceptable. I'm not going to sit there and be attacked, no matter how low on the totem pole you may be or wherever you came from. There's no need to condescend or to put other people down. Murray gave his side of the story to the Times of London back in 2009 and claimed that he told her off because she was unprofessional. But clearly he went a little bit too far. Number eight, Drew Barrymore. The actress recently talked about witnessing Bill Murray's demeaning behavior and said that she was present when he hurled insults at Lucy Liu on the set of Charlie's Angels. Drew said, what really happened was Bill just came in a bad mood. You know, comedians can be a little dark sometimes. And what you have to know is how much Lucy stood up for herself. And that was a great thing that came out of an unfortunate circumstance. She literally said, I do not accept that kind of behavior from you. And we all supported her and backed her up and we moved forward. Drew said that there were some general comments made towards the group but then Murray zeroed in on Lucy. Drew also sent her co-star a video that she had of the incident to back up her allegations, which showed the moment that Murray started lashing into her. It was apparently all caught on camera. In response, Lucy told her that she didn't need the video for confirmation and just having her friend's support was enough. So it's obvious that the angels still have each other's backs. Number seven, Quentin Tarantino. The legendary director went on Joe Rogan's podcast and essentially slammed all of Bill Murray's comedies. He said, the critics have always really preferred Bill Murray's movies to Chevy Chase movies. However, it does seem as if all the point of the Bill Murray movies is that he's kind of this hip, cool, sarcastic guy who in the last 20 minutes gets a transformation and becomes this nice guy and almost apologizes for who he was. Stripes, Groundhog Day, Scrooged, the whole thing. Tarantino went on to criticize the character development in Murray's movies. He said, same thing with Groundhog Day. I mean, does anyone really think a less sarcastic Bill Murray is a better Bill Murray? Chevy Chase's movies don't play that crap. He is the same supercilious a-hole at the end of the movie that he is at the beginning. And even if there's a slight change, that's not the whole point of the movie, like changing him into a nice cuddly guy. After hearing that, you can see why Tarantino was never jumping to work with Bill Murray. Number six, Aziz Ansari. In April, Murray was accused of inappropriate behavior on the set of Aziz Ansari's directorial debut called Being Mortal, which caused Disney to shut down production of the $20 million movie indefinitely. The film has already been high half shot and was clearly a passion project for Aziz and a chance for him to try his hand at directing. But the allegation was quite disturbing as it was revealed that Murray straddled
killed a much younger female production assistant in a bed that was on the set of the film. The young woman, who has not been identified, claims that he started kissing her body as well, and she was unable to move or get him off of her because of his weight. The incident took place in front of witnesses, and the allegations were backed up by a second staffer who saw what happened. The woman is said to have interpreted his actions as highly sexual and was horrified by what occurred. As a result, the comedian ended up forking out over a hundred thousand dollars to settle the complaint. So it's unlikely that Aziz will continue working with Murray after he got his whole movie shut down. Number five, Richard Dreyfus. Murray's What About Bob co-star seemed to have some not so great memories with the actor as well. During a 2019 role recall interview, Dreyfus voiced his displeasure over working with him and recalled one time when he asked Murray to read a change in the movie script. Quote, he was an Irish drunken bully. I didn't talk about it for years. Bill just got drunk at dinner. He came home from dinner one night and I said, read the script. I think it's really funny. And he put his face next to mine, nose to nose, and he screamed at the top of his lungs, everyone hates you. You are tolerated. Dreyfus went on to say that there was no time to react because he leaned back and took a modern glass blown ashtray and threw it at my face from only a couple of feet away. And it weighed about three quarters of a pound and he missed me. He tried to hit me. I got up and left. Talk about violent outburst. Number four, Chevy Chase. Murray and Chevy Chase are well known as comedic heavyweights who helped launch SNL into mainstream success. But in 1978, when Chase returned as a guest host, the two got into a physical altercation and began insulting one another when Murray confronted Chase, telling him that everyone hated him. This screaming match then ignited a physical fight between the two actors in the dressing room. SNL star Jane Curtin witnessed the whole fist fight and said, it was sad and painful and awful. It was that same kind of tension you would get in a family. It was uncomfortable. I think they both knew the one thing that they could say to one another that would hurt the most. In a 2012 interview, Murray said that he and Chase were friends again. He told Empire, it was really a Hollywood fight, a don't touch my face kind of thing. It was an opedial thing, a rupture, because we all felt mad that he had left us and somehow I was the anointed avenging angel who had to speak for everyone. But Chevy and I are friends now. It's all fine. Yeah. Number three, Angelica Houston. The actress spoke out against Bill Murray's behavior while they were working together on the 2004 comedy, The Life Aquatic with Steve Zizou. She told Vulture in 2019 that he was awful to her throughout the production. She said, the first week I was there, we were all in this little hotel and he invited the entire cast to go out and have dinner except me. And everyone came down for dinner, a little dog faced about me not being invited. And they were all like, oh, you know, we don't really want to go. That was worse than anything. I I think we met again in Florence and he said, hey, how have you been? I missed you. And then I said, you're full of crap, you didn't miss me. Houston said that she was really hurt by the whole ordeal. But ever since then, she said that Murray decided to be a little nicer to her and even showed up to her husband's funeral. So although these two have most likely buried the hatchet, it's clearly something that she still holds on to. Number two, PJ Souls. Last year, actress PJ Souls recounted to Yahoo Entertainment that Murray frequently made sexual advances to her while they filmed the 1981 military comedy stripes, despite the fact that she was married to Dennis Quaid at the time. She said, he would call me up every night and say, my car is waiting outside to bring you to my house. Come on, one night. I said, no Bill, I'm tired. I want to look good on screen. We girls have to look good in the morning. He's very funny when he wants to be, but the moods are kind of a deal breaker. There were a few times where Bill would be in his trailer and nobody could get him out. Souls also spoke about her topless scene with Bill in the extended cut of the movie. When she was asked what it was like filming that scene and whether Bill had made her feel comfortable, she said, he definitely did not make me comfortable. I was happy when they cut those scenes out. Number one, Joseph McGinty Nicole. The Charlie's Angels director claimed Murray headbutted him square in the head on the set of the movie. He told the Guardian newspaper in 2009, I don't think there's been a film I've made where there hasn't been some kind of physical fight. I mean, I've been headbutted by an A-list star square in the head. An inch later and my nose would have been obliterated. It was Bill Murray. You know, it's a passionate industry. Murray denied the claim in a Times of London interview, but he admitted that there was genuine tension between them. He said, that's BS, that's complete crap. I don't know why he made that story up. He has a very active imagination. He deserves to die. He should be pierced with a lance, not headbutted. So yes, realistically, anyone can see that the two of them didn't get along. In fact, earlier that year, MCG was also directing Christian Bale in Terminator Salvation when he made his infamous outburst against a lighting technician. So maybe it's something to do with his film. Sets. Well, that's everyone that we have on the list for today. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next video.